Thanks, Wendy. Good afternoon. We talked to Laurie Oakes tonight about that bombshell question Julia Gillard refused to answer. He'll explain the full story behind it. Melbourne Storm salary cap scandal is twice as bad as first thought. The reason behind Bob Hawke and Paul Keating's bitter public feud. Barry O'Farrell's embarrassing gaffe on Twitter. And the amazing bionic legs allowing a paraplegic man to walk. I look forward to seeing you for Nine News, which is coming up at six o'clock tonight. See you then. The best hour of news in the country. The Win News Hour, weeknights from six. Tonight on Win News, the Greens call for a needle exchange program in Canberra's jail. A compromise reached over the controversial mining tax. And meet our youngest hip hop stars, the Win News Hour from six. Tonight on Nine News, Gillard refuses to talk about the night she ousted Kevin Rudd. Melbourne Storm salary cap scandal twice as bad as first thought and scientists proved the chicken came before the egg. Then on Win News at 6.30, calls for a needle and syringe program at the Territory's prison should Canberrans have to pay a tree tax and the Prime Minister's commitment to regional Australia. The best hour of news in the country. Midnight's from six. Tonight on Win News, calls for a needle and syringe program at the Territory's prison. Should Canberrans be slugged a levy to enhance our bush capital? The new resource to help ACT homeless services become more child friendly, the RSPCA inundated with puppies, and in sport, the Brumbies secure a strong scrum half roster for next year's Super 14. I'll have full details in the Win News Hour from 6. This is Win News. Tonight, the war of words over drugs at Canberra's prison. Should Canberrans be taxed to ensure the bush capital remains just that? And the Prime Minister's commitment to regional Australia. Good evening, I'm Jessica Good. Local politicians have been urged to get their heads out of the sand and admit the Territory's jail is not drug-free. A local counselling service has joined the ACT Greens in urging the government to roll out a needle and syringe program at the Alexander McConaughey Centre. There is evidence viruses have begun to spread among inmates.